Hi, welcome to my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. This will also work for Unreal Engine 5. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do force push ability in Unreal Engine. Um, so the first thing you want to do, um, as always, is you want to create an action mapping in the input setting. So to do that, go to Edit, at the top, Project Settings, and under Engine, go to Input. And now, these are some inputs from some past tutorials I've done. But we're going to create one called Force Push. And what this will allow us to do is press a button of our choosing, um, whether it's a gamepad or a keyboard, and when we do that, it'll run specific code. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our third person character. Okay, this is your character that you're going to have with the player. Okay, so you want to call Force Push, which is the action event we created. This, if this is in here, Make sure you add it in the project input, okay? Compile that. And now on pressed, we want to do line trace by channel, okay? Line trace by channel. And the two things we need to worry about is start and end. So we need to on start, get actor location, okay? All right? And then we need to do a little bit of math here, which is not that complicated. I'll help you through it. Um, vector times vector, or vector plus vector, okay, this, end, this goes into the end. So we need to get the actor location for the start, and then we also need to get it toward the end, plus a few bits of data. So we need to get the control rotation, okay, and then with that we need to get the forward vector from that rotation. And just so you know, the control rotation Cut, cut, cut. All right. So just to go over the code again, I want to show you. So we get the input action that we created. Then we start a line trace. And we need the start and the and end position. So the start of where it's going to start, which is where our actor is, our player. And then the end location is going to be our control rotations of the direction we look at plus about 15,000 15, value in the forward direction. Okay, so what that does is anything that hits that is going to be line trace. Okay, and if and, and the way we run code is we do a break hit result. And we want to get a hit component, which the component is going to be any object that simulates physics. Okay. So then we add impulse to that. And the easiest way to calculate consistently the direction it's going to move is to get the control rotation, the forward vector, just like we did over here, and multiply that by a value of 1,000 or 10,000, however far you want it pushed, and then put that value, that vector, into the impulse. And then make sure the velocity changes. And once you do that, it should work, and that is all you need for force push. If you want to add some montage, some animations, you can, you can play animation. Okay, you can play that on here, and then you can also do sounds, play sound, or spawn part of it, or spawn emitter at spawn emitter attach at like the hand or something. Um, attach point is the hand. And then you have the full blown force push. That is going to be it for today. I just want to show it to you again. Um, so, as you can see, oh, there's the laser eyes. Uh, so, as you can see, that's going to push it. Laser eyes. Uh, that's a tutorial from another video if you do want to watch that. Um, I do have it on my channel. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in comment. If you want a specific video made, feel free to comment that. Um, and sub for more. Thank you.